Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, and welcome to my personal favorite game. It's a quite popular little grand strategy game by the current uh, monopolizers of the genre. Crusader Kings 3. Now, despite the name, you don't have to be Catholic and you don't have to be a man. Funny that. As you can see, we can actually play as uh, anyone, not just on these various screens, but also... Quick. Oh, why did I do that? Now I have to sit through the loading screen when I was going to play a character on <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. I just want to show off the game. <laughs> Uh, here we go. We can play as anyone on this map. And not just on this map, but even vassals of the people on the map. Click. See, you can just play as this random lad in the middle of... I wouldn't say that this is nowhere. The middle of Morocco. Uh, where, where would be... Where would be the close... I guess nowhere on the... I guess the only place that would be considered nowhere... Oh, lag spike is somewhere in the steps. Just this random lad in the middle of the steps. You can play as him and you can conquer the world as him if you so desire. But instead of some random lad in the steps, we are going to be playing Harold Godwinson of England. Now, so a, a lot of you have, are probably like, oh, who the, who on earth is Harold Godwinson? Harold Godwinson is I'm sorry, I always get distracted by the fact that the that the flags aren't on the on the capital city unless you're already zoomed way, way in. That always <laughs> This game's a little bit buggy. All of the biggest games always are. <laughs> but I uh we're just going to we can create our own ruler if we so desire, but this is the first time of me stream it st streaming this. So I'm going to be doing just Harold Godwinson. Click. So, for anyone who doesn't... Well, I was going to start explaining how the game works, but uh, it's a little bit complex if you've never played it before. Uh, just so you know, Harold is <laughs> labeled as a hard start. He is one of the preset starts that you can play as on the map screen that you saw just a moment ago. And, uh... Ah, he's, the reason he's hard is he starts off at war with two separate, decently strong rulers. See, we have King Harald Hardrada of Norway, and you know him, you may or may not love him, Duke William the Conqueror, or as he was called before this, uh... I should actually probably set this as, uh... Eh, it'll be fine. Well, as you probably can see right here, William the Bastard. He is the, I guess you could say, canonical winner of this three-way war. Now, as you can see, they both start off with uh, 5,000 give or take soldiers, and we only start off with 6,000, which uh, may be a little bit of a problem, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see, let's see... Uh, it'd probably be a good idea to marry one of us. Okay, so as you can probably see, this is about medieval politics, so there's going to be a lot of marrying between dynasties. Uh, should probably... I usually see it, uh, find it's a good idea to marry off his sons to uh, a Danish princess, because as you can see, Norway is right next to Denmark. There's your... Uh, lesson on the I and yes there there are there are kids in this game and you do and <laughs> it's medieval politics with all the controversy that comes with that it's a video game if you're not if you're not offended by Game of Thrones you can't be offended by Crusader Kings because it's a lot less offensive than Game of Thrones let me say that much uh, what was I going to do right uh, 
Hang on. Hang on a second. Uh, who was it that... Uh, Dan, I really should have <laughs> memorized that. Uh, in our timeline, Harold's daughter married a Russian prince who eventually became Tsar, not Tsar, King of Ruthenia, Prince of Ruthenia. Eh! <laughs> Blade Mel. Uh, oh well, I guess she won't be marrying him this in this timeline. Uh, should she marry the King of France? Aye, why not? Go on, Githa, go marry the King of France. You're Queen of France now. Uh, Magnus... Princess of Bohemia... And the uh, martial thing... Of course he's going to be chivalrous! <laughs> I mean, look at me, who do you think you're talking to? I am literally a knight. That's literally who I am. <laughs> uh, let's see though, let's see, let's see, let's see... Let us still be seen. Uh, is there anything else we need to do before starting the game? Should we marry off Edmund? Let's marry him off to... He, c he, can, he can get married later. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Alright. Raise the army here. Uh, oh, right. Uh, let's see what... <gasps> Hello, Vespa! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> uh, let's see, though. What do we want? <laughs> yes, I don't say hello. I say hello. H-U-L-L-O. You silly lad. How are you, though, Vespa? Uh, let's see, let's see. Do we want to... We only have enough for one starting dynasty legacy. Usually you get one or two with like the more famous historically dynasties. But uh... <laughs> oh no, you're still a bit you're still a bit sore in the throat, so that's not good at all. Oh. I hope you get better soon. It's always lovely for you to be here, even if you are going to cough all over it. <laughs> uh, my heart says that we start with House of Warriors, which gives us plus two prowess and 15% knight effectiveness. And as you can see, when you click... <laughs> oh no, you're going to give me viruses! But my computer's already on the on its last legs. <laughs> uh, double meanings. <laughs> uh, but I, every time you get a new dynasty, which you buy with a stat called Renown, it goes up 500. It, you start off with it, with it costing 250, and then it, you get 750, 125, and it just goes up and up. Uh, I gladly accept your proposal, betrothal preposition. Yes. Okay. Okay, so, hmm. what's the best way to go about this war? It's been a little while since I played Harold. Fun fact, Harold Godwinson was actually my uh, namesake. I was named after Harold Godwinson. Uh, obviously, we want to call our lads in, call the Danes into... We can't, we can't call the French into the war on Normandy, because Normandy is their vassal, but we can call Bohemia in. Uh, is there anything else that we would want to do? Uh, well, we can immediately use his, use Godwinson's hook on his, on his mistress, Edgifu the Fair, to, uh, do we want to do that? Do we want to raise tax? on her or raise her feudal levies. No, no, she's doing fine. That's fine. Actually, mm, we do need money. No, I'm going to be a good king. I am not going to hold anything over on someone on my side. So, 
while while the Danes focus on or uh, distract the Norwegian main army, I'm going to send them north to my vanguard. Oh, I need to put a vote in the Latin I got. Uh, let's see. Who do I want to give my vote to? I'm going to give my vote to Godwin Haraldson. Not to be confused with Harold Godwinson. Onwards. Onwards, northwards. And then I'm going to swing back south immediately once I get rid of their vanguard. Yes, come here, lads. And, okay. Oh, the Danes are coming in. Reinforcements, hurrah! And swing down south. Uh, who's the king of Denmark? Uh, Svend. Come, Svend! My good cousin! Dun, dun, dun. Oh, uh, Norway just allied with someone. Uh, I see. Alright then. Uh, can we white piece them? No, we cannot white piece them yet. Generally, it's a good idea to just white piece one of the uh, folk in this three-way war. You know, generally speaking. Uh, sometimes, fate deals you a winning hand. Oh, come on, Denmark. Come on. Yes, reinforcements. What are you doing? Oh, right. I, I forgot to call them into the war with Normandy. Oh dear. So technically they're not legally allowed to be at war with them. There we go. Now they're fighting. Yes, onward. So uh, I don't really have a goal in this uh, playthrough. My goal is just going to be to... I suppose... Hmm, what do you think, lads? Should this be a... A roleplay playthrough? A world conquest playthrough? Or shall I just uh, play the cards that I am dealt? Because there's three sort of ways that you can go in this. You can roleplay the characters that you're given. So Harold is arbitrary, arrogant, and ambitious. So he'd probably be a little bit of a warmonger. Uh, whereas, let's say, his eldest son... Basically, it's just acting how you would if you were the character proper. World Conquest, however, is just getting as much land as you can going for, you know, World Conquest. I've never done a World Conquest thing. Alternatively, I could just do my own thing regardless of how my character feels about it, which, you know what, I think I answered my own question there. I think it's going to be a roleplay thing. So we are going to play as the... As the devs kind of intended a lot of players to play because uh, a mechanic stress basically is like, oh, this is how this character would act. You don't want to go too far outside of that or they'll literally get so stressed they'll die. Because you executed like a hundred people in a day when your character was compassionate and forgiving. Slush. And come here, Billy. Billy boy. Billy bastard. Look at him. Ambitious, diligent, and brave. Bosh. Come on. Come on. Let's speed it up. We've already won, basically. Oh, Magnus comes of age. I am proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed literal natural inclination towards warfare, such as Magnus, can uh, can can can, pff, can come to truly understand it. He's shown great aptitude both in battle tactics and the management of armies. He will make a fine commander one day, I'm sure. Good for you, Magnus. Oh, uh, can we white peace William? Do we want to white peace William, or do we want to? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to call the King of France in here, and I'm also going to call you in here. Alright, good. 
We're just going to bring the full force of our alliances down on both of them. Chase them into the sea, lads. Yes. And, yep, yeah, let's head north again. Bush, bush. Haha! -ha! Duke William has been taken hostage. Uh, undisciplined recruits. Today I am observing Reeve Bjortzig. Reeve Bjortzig as he trains some of his new levies, but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than an army. I look on as he struggles to gain control of the situation, clearly pushed to his limits. While it's never easy to train new soldiers, he seriously needs to do better than this. Uh, let's see, he's zealous, content, and deceitful. Uh, we can teach him what we know about command, gain a hundred lifestyle experience, and depending on how he takes it, he'll either like us more and be better at warfare or dislike us more cheer him up or chastise him we're going to teach him what we know that seems like the best idea and then uh loses all claims on england hostages taken by all war participants will be released and we gain 300 uh prestige yes all right uh, advice rejected. As I tap Reeve Bjortzig on his shoulder, he throws up his hands and shouts, This is not my fault, Harold. These idiotic peasants don't know their right hand from their left. How can anyone be expected to turn this rabble into an army? I am disappointed in you, Reeve. Reeve is your title, not your name. Uh, Alright. Uh, we could take a risk and try to pick off one of their armies here. I think yes, let's... Yes. Yes, that was a good idea. Wonderful. Aha. And retake that. Alright, good. And I think that we're in a good enough position to just... Uh, uh, why aren't you in charge of an army? To just, uh, do the thing, as they say. <laughs> We're going to force them into a full surrender. Available perks. Stalwart leader. Reduce the risk of commanding armies, plus four prowess, and may challenge rivals to single combat, inflicting stress if you win. Yay. Alright, alright, alright. And we have basically already won. Githa comes of age. For the longest time I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Githa the intricacies of administration. All efforts have come to naught, however. You would be impressed by her understanding of the subject, but she has at least developed a sound grasp on the basics of management and the beginnings of a sense of frugality. Ah, uh, bless her heart. Uh, alright, I think... Hmm. I'm just going to wait here and wait for them to come to us. That seems like a good plan. Speaking of, they're already back. Oh. Come on now. There we go. Haha. -ha. And we have won again. The war for England has been won. Yay! Alright. Now, what is there to do? As said, he is arbitrary, arrogant, ambitious, a skilled tactician. And an overseer. So, hmm. Uh, Ransom you. We can declare a war for the county of Cumberland. Or the earldom of Cumberland, rather. Uh, sh should we, or should we focus on something else? How is, uh... Hmm. I think... Now, I do know that in history, Harold Godwinson had kind of a thing about the Welsh. He, uh, oh, excuse me. He, uh, I think he was a major commander in the battles that shattered a, the early Welsh kingdom. That was a little bit before uh, 1066. Uh, is that correct? I think that's correct. 
Uh, Wales, tribal history. Well, I'm pretty sure that someone was on the way to unite in Wales, at the very least. And Harold, Harold kind of put the kibosh on that. So I think it would make sense if we went in to try and conquer Wales. And while a claim is being made on that, we are also going to go to war with Scotland. Raise the armies. Onwards! Uh, oh, someone's blackmailing me. Uh, I know of your relationship with Countess Edgifu. If you wish for my silence, you will do as I say. Uh, hmm. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Do we... Uh, he's just a tiny little... It's not even a count. He's a, he's a baron. He's a reeve. All right. What what could you really do with with uh, something on my head like that? Oh, call to war. Uh, I call to war. Join me on the Danish claim on the kingdom of Norway. All right, cousin. Uh, declaration of love. I'm walking the gardens with some of the lords at my court when I notice my wife, Queen Eldgif, approaching. I step aside to let her pass, but to my great surprise, she blocks my path and kneels before me. Before I have time to properly process the t this turn of events, Queen Eldgif begins to sing. To my great dismay, the woman before me cannot carry a tune to save her life. It takes a while before I am able to identify the song. It's a famous Anglo-Saxon love ballad. She has altered the lyrics to include my name and mentions of my physical appearance, ruining the rhythm even further. Aw, oh, bless her heart. Bless her heart. You flatter me, my lady. I mean, she's my wife, so you know. <laughs> uh, there we go. Siege to that down. And... How does everyone keep knowing about this? Uh, okay. How do barons keep knowing about this affair? Um, we're going, we've got a decent bit of money. So how about we... Hmm, let's upgrade the laws of the good city of London. Good old London wick. Uh, I'm not sure if I said this already, but I am doing an Iron Man mode, which means uh, I cannot reload, it auto-saves, so I can't save scum anything, and uh, also uh, it allows for achievements to be done because I'm also not using any mods. If you have mods, oh, uh, ooh! Oh, it puts us into debt, but yes, that's very good. Thank you, Adrad. Uh, I have prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the Lordship of Penlin. Indeed, I could even argue you are the rightful lord of the Principality of Powys. Yes, all of Powys will be mine. I'm now in much debt. Uh, Gunhild has become a fortune builder. Good for her. Good for her. Oh, hello again, Scotland. Now, as you can see here, uh, religion is definitely a very important mechanic in this game. Culture's not so much, but the uh, first major expansion pack that's coming out, Royal Court, is putting a fix to that and making them very, very important. So, right now, uh, culture, you can more or less ignore culture a little bit, like... It does lower your opinions with other people, and it also, depending on your culture, it depends, uh, it uh, decides what uh, things that you have, what technologies, but uh, it's mostly just technologies. Mostly just technologies, and a very slight opinion bonuses. Uh, let's see, I keep, keep researching battlements, that's fine. And bush. Alright. 
and bush. There we go. Oh, another thing. Chivalric dominance. Yes. Is there anything greater than the nobility of a knight? Probably a lot of things, but there's many more that are not. Oh, I meant I should, I meant to go help my allies, the Danes. Uh, I'm currently greatly in debt, but if I don't send my armies to go help, they will end up asking me for money instead. Oh, the trope can marry. Uh, Prince Magnus and Yodita Premislad. Uh, strategical impasse. I am sitting around the map table with Prince Edmund and Duke Gerth, per, uh, discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Duke Gerth, obviously well known for his large muscle mass. Uh, Edmund brings his fist on the table and loudly proclaims we should charge the enemy directly and crush them with the sheer might of our armies, while Gerth sits back and patiently advocates for us to secure critical locations and wait for the enemy to come to us instead. It is my right to decide our ultimate course of action. I know how we can employ both strategies. This option is available because of my martial skill. And let's see, if we do both, then enemy fatal casualties plus 10, attack advantage plus 5, and defender advantage plus 5, and control territory advantage plus 2. There's no downside to doing both. Oh, heresy. Uh, Duke Gerhard of Upper Lorraine has announced to the world that he and his vassals have converted to Waldensianism. Having become disillusioned with the teachings of Catholic priests, the nobles of Upper Lorraine no longer consider the clergy to be righteous and true. As Waldensians, they believe their new faith properly aligns with the will of God, and they are distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. Uh, let's see. Uh, holding that the accumulation of wealth is an anathema that is incompatible with achieving salvation, Waldensians preach apostolic poverty as being the path to perfection, and believe that priests should neither hold titles nor land. Interesting. Uh, anachronism, mendicant preachers, and vows of poverty. Good for them, but that is... Ad Ooh, I... Hmm. Hmm. I mean... You can make your own custom religions in this game. I wonder, do I want to do that? Anyone who wants to be active in chat, do you think I should stick with Catholicism? Or do a regular heresy or make my own? <laughs> uh, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Okay, good, good. Oh dear, I... Thai religion. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have been told that I have nice thighs. Oh, hang on. Uh, hang on. Uh, da da da. I don't think I ever properly showed off my full model on stream. Da da da. Here I am. <laughs> so thigh religion, you say, Vespa? <laughs> Not the worst idea. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here I am. Uh, there we go. Uh, a long time ago, before the whole VTuber craze, I tried to do a little bit of streaming of this game, and I ended up trying to make a religion based on chivalry for, you know, obvious reasons, even before I decided <laughs> to be a VTuber. I was still, still deeply, deeply into the values of chivalry. Oh, that was a horrible idea. Retreat! Retreat! Oh, I got distracted. Oh no. <laughs> Quick, just keep sieging things down. So, either knight religion, or as Vespa has suggested, a thigh religion. Alternatively, we could take a page from Remy's book and make Femboy Catholicism instead of Tomboy Catholicism. <laughs> Lads, you, we aren't going to we aren't going to swing south. No, okay. 
the a the AI in this game can be a little bit, a little bit fuzzy, I'll admit. Uh, uh, never back down. Never back down from a fight. That is not the way of a knight. Unless there's some moral reason to back down from a fight. Uh, Deaf Diplomacy. My Chancellor Thane Oswald has uh, worked hard to, pro to, to convince our neighbouring realms and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with King Malcolm of Scotland is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair to me. I am once again free to declare war upon him as I please. Ah, oh, bless his heart. Lads, if we swing down south, we could easily crush them. Lads! Lads, come on now! Eh. Uh. Pray St. Bridget, Elgith has given birth to a perfect little daughter. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Algifu. Alright, I'm going home. I'm going home, Sven. Good luck in the rest of your war, but I think I've weakened them enough. I believe in you, Sven. Is it love? I can scarce remember what my life was like before Elgith declared her feelings for me. Those days seemed so bleak, so dreary, but with her by my side, any everything and anything suddenly seems possible. I wish we could go on like this forever, but deep down I know I must make my choice. Am I brave enough to give in to my feelings, or must my I shut my heart to Elgith forever? Uh, I am yours, Elgith, now and forever. The wild hunt. I am out riding with my horse uh, when my horse suddenly throws myself off, uh, throws itself off the path. The fall is unavoidable and knocks the air out of my lungs. When I look up, I find myself face to face with a bear. Before I get a chance to scream, the beast collapses, an arrow between its eyes. Harold, my sweetness, I thought I had lost you. My hero is none other than Queen Aldgith. Yay! My wife saved my life. Hurrah! I guess the moral thing to do here is to break up with my mistress. Uh, break up with lover. Because she's just a lover, not a soulmate. See, there's a difference. Your steward vassal and lover, lover or your wife and soulmate. Uh, yes, I'm I'm sorry, Edgifu. Goodbye. Da -da. Oh, we can ask the Pope for money. Please. Please, Pope. I need money. I am in. I am this high in debt. And ransom off all these lads. Hope, hope none of them were important to the war against Norway. Uh, oh. We have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more. We are done paying you taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your ladders are empty, you will wish you had treated us more fairly. I guess I could get. I guess I could grant a tax, Leon. I mean, we make quite a bit of money. Oh, that cut down our money supply quite a bit. Uh. Let's see. Let's see. What's the O for Vespa? What is? Oh, it's a. It's a pog face. Okay. What's the pog face for in this particular thing? My short-term memory is is flaring up, oh god. Uh, to the impressive King Harold of England, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the French de jour conquest of the count, the count, <laughs> the county of, what on earth is that? Val, Valcolaire, Valcolaire. Uh, <laughs> no, knowing, knowing the French language that's probably pronounced Vicor, Vico? maybe Vicor. That's an exaggeration, but I'm going to call it Vicor because that's funny to me. Uh, I mean, it's not like I can talk. I mean, I'm playing the bleeding English. Ignoring the fact that English only became such a weird language because of Normandy. <laughs> Which, you know, spoke French. English in this modern age is technically a creole between Anglo-Saxon English and Norman French. It's very interesting. Very interesting history. History is very interesting once you actually study it. Uh, oh, they're fighting the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, <laughs> I will say that I'm coming, but then at the same time, 
I'm sorry. Uh... You know what, I'll, I'll do a little bit of fighting. I'll, I'll make landfall in... in Zealand. And then I will immediately leave, because I am this high in debt. Look at, look at me, I am, I am this high. I am not raising a hand, that's how high in debt I am. <laughs> Vespa, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you making a, a pyramid of pogs? <laughs> uh, my son. Oh, Eldgith, you have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Athelwine sounds like a good name. Uh, spouse, up to the task. Some of the counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, and yet I am often disappointed. For a long day, I am complaining to Aldgith when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Uh, let's see, Marshal Morkar would benefit from your help. Yes, that was a vine sauce reference, Vesper. I'm glad you caught that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, what is her... She's not got very high stats. Uh, I'm just going to have her talk with... Talk with our local bishop. He apparently will enjoy her company a bit. I need to go to Kokomal. Where is Kokomal? We shall conquer it in the name of Great England. Yes. <laughs> What's who? Who is who is going to saw off my fingers? The bleeding Norman bankers are going to saw off my fingers. I don't know why I said the Normans. They have no influence here. I need to pay my taxes. Wait, I'm the king. Matt, the taxes go to me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ah, good old vine sauce. Good old Joel and Vinny and all the rest. Bless their hearts. Uh, let's see. We need money. I need to pay my taxes to myself. Uh, my dear nephew, would you please, please give, please give me money. Pay your taxes. Uh, Bosch and Duke Moaka, pay your bleeding taxes. Uh, Ed Gifu. Uh, I don't, I don't want to do that to her. Bless her heart. I already broke up with her. Well, I did my parts in those wars. Kingsguard. Dun, dun. Uh, let's Negotiate an alliance with my brother, because while you can't call vassals to wars, you do- it does, I think, force them to, uh, not be dastards to you. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, bleed now. Uh, emerging lunacy. Strange people have been appearing around court lately. Some I only see as shadows in the corner of my eye, and others I glimpse quickly, and then they seem to be gone. No matter how many guards I set on the task, these strange people cannot be found, but the intensity of their taunting is only increasing. Oh god! I'm being hunted by the shadow people! No! Uh, this last week I have been spiraling like a leaf in a tornado, going round and round and round. What is reality? What is real? I can no longer answer this. All I know is that the woman in the clouds understands me, but the shadows are reaching further every day. Oh god, he's going insane. Grasping like rodents? Shoo! Away with you! Mother Mary? Is that the woman in the clouds? Uh, what are you on about? I see. Uh, oh dear. I, okay, let's, let's, uh, sure, let's do that. Let's declare war for Lothian. 
in the name of my little vassal Earl Dolphin. <laughs> Dolphin. Interesting name there, dear. Interesting name. Onwards! To battle! I like how they modeled Hadrian's Wall. Excuse me. Hadrian's Wall was built during Roman times to keep the northern Picts out of the province of Britannia. Nowadays it serves no defensive purpose, but the stones make for a cheap and convenient source of building material. I wish you could upgrade Hadrian's Wall to be a proper defensive wall. Not because I necessarily want to keep... Uh, the English war for Earl Dolphin's claim on... Aw, oh, darn. Oh well. Not because I want to keep the Scots out, but just because I think it would have been nice. I guess it does make... I guess it is more useful as a, uh, as a, what's the phrase, minus 10 construction cost than it would as a proper defensive structure. Uh, after my army sets up camp, I hear a commotion coming from my knight's lodgings. Investigating the, dis the disturbance, I find Prince Edmund and Reeve Offa in the middle of a heated argument while several onlookers edge them on. Uh, deliver a speech about unity to the crowd. Have them whipped for their delinquency. Sod this, I'm going to my tent and stuffing my ears. Deliver a speech about unity to the crowd. My pleas for us to all put aside our differences fall on deaf ears as the spat turns into an all-out brawl. Drinks and food go flying as people start throwing tankards and packs around. Might as well join in. I emerge as the sole victor of the brawl. Haha. <laughs> uh, through downcast lashes. As my eyes meet Countess Leofgifus for what feels like the 20th time tonight, I know I am not imagining things. Even from the other end of the table, her, ga her gaze feels as intense as the midday sun. Are you sure about that? Because I am getting accosted by shadow people. At that point, I feel as though anything is possible to come up with. Uh, let's see. She wants me and I cannot lie. I want her too. Or is punishing her husband our heck on what I truly desire? Does it even matter? No, my heart remains pure. Uh, I am going to sway the Pope. And then I am going to go to war for the county of Powys that I spent good, good money on. <laughs> to Wales, lads! I got brand new shiny helmet and a pair of kinky boots. I've got a lovely chainmail jacket and a... That's not... That's not... How would you... How would you medieval fi kinky boots? Uh, a commoner of Italian heritage has been accosted in the streets of London over some minor offence. By making a statement in their defence, I could perhaps convince King Bishop Alexander of the papacy, the equally Italian of my good character, but I might risk alienating my Anglo-Saxon peers. What's an Italian man doing in medieval England? That's a very long way to go in medieval times. Uh, the Italians are good people. We are British Army and we're here to take your lands. I guess we're the English Army, not the British Army. <laughs> uh, oh dear. My brother in law in Brother-in-law, Duke Morcar, brother-in-law, of, of being a, uh, of having had an extramarital affair with his niece. Oh, bleeding hell. Okay then, sir. That's a little bit messed up. As I said, if you're not offended by Game of Thrones, you won't be offended by this game. But uh, it is a little Game of thrones -ian. Mayor 
Pequa. Go, sir. You are free. <laughs> oh no, Vespa, you're offended. I'm assuming that's a joke. But I'm... But, uh... Meh. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Ass assign the sun. Nepotism. <laughs> uh, excommunication law. Uh, I gain 400 piety. And he is the pause. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. We can just go to war for the principality of De Hub De De How do you pronounce that? <laughs> Ev everything south of Scotland just has a bloody problem of that can be summed up as how on earth do you pronounce that? Like everything from Ireland to France, you can't trust the Latin alphabet. <laughs> uh, okay. Like what? Like why? Like why does? Ireland, Wales, England, and France all use the English. We gotta get... I wouldn't mind playing some Assassin's Creed, perhaps. Oh, we took his son, son hostage. Hurrah. Uh, let's see what... Why do you say that, by the way, Vespa? I'll definitely put it on the, uh, on the list. Oh, Algith, you have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you, and now we have a perfect little son. She has got a lot of children. We are apparently there are the place names in that. Uh, Anbert. His name is Anbert. <laughs> but I, uh, it's like half of Europe, like all of Europe, took the Latin alphabet, and then half of it just decided to do its own thing. Ah, yes. Good old English. Good old Gloucestershire. Spelt glo <laughs> Uh, I would be delighted if your son Ethelwyn could visit my court in Lancaster to meet his peers. I'm inviting everyone of note, which unfortunately <laughs> includes him. Oh, God. <laughs> uh huh. Wow, you just do not like my children, do you, Algifu? Like, alright. Little Miss Lancaster. Uh, of course she will be there. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is nice music. But uh, Assassin's Creed, I wouldn't mind doing an Assassin's Creed. Good old, uh, good old, uh, they're, they're basically the video game equivalent of popcorn flicks, which I don't think anyone really minds. Except for the few people who mind it a lot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Eh, what? They put... Have I? Have I got a mod in... in... Nani? Do I have mods installed? I, I haven't noticed any mods, but I'm pretty sure that this is from a mod. Uh... And I'm... And I did actually put it on Iron Man mod. What on earth? Iron Man Sable... I've got mods on. I don't know what mods I have on. Uh... That's a little bit concerning because... My plan was for this to be Iron Man mod. And I also don't know what mods I have on.
that's uh, slightly concerning. I don't know what mods I have on. <laughs> no, no booba mods, Vespa. I I hope. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're just going to go on as if, as if we don't have anything going on. I guess. I guess the Iron Man mod is just going to be a. It's going to be a. What's the phrase? It's going to be a trust system. That's not the word for it. I don't think. I'm just going to have to trust future me that I'm not... Okay, so this is a mod, which basically just makes it easier to uh, vassalize folk. Because sometimes it, it can just be really, really difficult. Uh, request claim? No, private collector. Oh, he died. Uh, okay, no, the pub does not like me, so instead I'm going to send my bishop. Is there anything here? No, there's no decision mods, at least none relevant right now. Uh, and I don't have the, uh, Transfer titles mod that lets you play around manually with the de jure out the, uh, things. Alright. We're just going to have to figure things out as we go. Uh, a merchant has sent me samples of seeds. Plants he claims are good for health and mind. I must admit I have little experience in nurturing plants, but how hard could it be? Apparently very hard, considering it's a 14% chance to become a herbalist. Uh... Hey, he's a herbalist now. And yes, hopefully, hopefully none of my dear king's booba mods will be. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my king. I'm sorry, Victor. <laughs> I'm sorry for calling you out on stream. Uh, okay, he's flipping <laughs> off now, that's fair. <laughs> Bless his heart. Bless his heart. Uh, my magnanimous son, Prince Magnus, is known for his prowess in military matters, especially in areas where I found myself lacking. Anyone who doesn't know my lore as a VTuber is going to be very confused when I refer to him as my king. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, then it'll make more sense. <laughs> uh, let's see. My magnanimous son, Prince Magnus, is known for his prowess in military matters, especially in areas where I found myself lacking. Will you teach me, Magnus? Yod, yod. Yod, yod, yod. Uh, gain the trait Reckless. Come, come on. Uh, m minimum battle roll minus four, maximum battle roll plus six. Uh... I've got better things to do. Uh, the scandal. My daughter Queen Githa has been showing signs of pregnancy for some time now, and everyone thought that her husband, K King Philip, was the father of the child. Now it has become clear the real father-to-be is none other than Count Guy, if only it could have stayed a secret. Now everyone knows. Darn it, Githa. Darn it. Prince Henry. That's a strong name. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh! Uh, promising prospects. That's very good. Uh, let's send off some more folk to get married. Uh, no. Uh, Prince Heinrich of the Holy Roman Empire, you are now betrothed to my daughter. Bless your heart. We are now friends with most in continental Europe. Uh, oh, yay. Yes, all of Gwynedd will be mine. And I'm not even in debt over it. Yay! This, 
to mob, I'm not going to saw off my fingers. That would be very bad. Uh, a stranger is brought before me. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege, my god informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is Nikloth, your, uh, your highness. I have traveled far and wide and have seen many things, but my family and I are weary of the road. If you allow us to stay, I will be happy. I will happily, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. Uh. Okay. He's a. Uh, he's a. Sla he's a Slavic pagan Palabian. All right. Interesting. Up. Oh, believe now the Wal <laughs> the Waldensians are doing well. It seems. Good for them. Good for them. Uh, ah, sure, the more the merrier. You don't really seem that useful, to be honest, but, uh, you know, if, if this is where you want to set up shop, then set up shop all you want. Oh, actually, uh, hmm, no, I'm going to put Reeve Edgar of Kettering. And, uh, Bosch. Bosch. Uh, a dream of glass. I crawl my way to consciousness after a sleep so deep I almost lost myself. I dreamed of big panes of glass carrying me closer to the sun in a vortex of stars. Reaching as far as I could, I managed to grab the heavenly body in its flaming glory, tugging until it toppled down and fell to earth. Embracing it, I felt serenity and warmth that I have never before experienced. So splendid. So grand. I can now take a decision to build a glass monument. Uh, I see. This is new to me. This building is seemingly excellent for growing vegetables. Okay. Uh. All right then. Duchess Seond, you you are going to give me money for the glass building. We're going to have, we're going to build a glass building, and then we are also going to become Zunbil, apparently. Praise the sun! Uh, white piece. Uh, Danish clan on Norway went to that. Oh, uh, white. Uh, white piece. Good for them. Haha! -ha. And now. We save up for that glass monument, apparently. Hopefully, he will live long enough because he's getting on in age. Soda. Soda, soda, soda. Uh, yes, give me money. Money is good. Money can be s can be exchanged for goods and services. But let it not corrupt you, because that means very bad things for everyone. Wales has been mostly conquered, so now... It is time for the old man to rest. He has earned his place in history by winning a war deeply not in his favor and by conquering the neighboring lands. Hurrah. Uh, hereby I invite you to a feast at my court in Bedenford. Sure. Uh, well, the ransom. Uh, every guest is gathered in the great hall and our gracious host, Prince Godwine, has welcomed us all to the feast. Hooray. A uh, troubled daughter. The pleading gaze I, I received from my daughter Geetha is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner she has hidden all evening, and the walls are hindering her escape. The poor woman has never been good with people. I will distract the converging guests. Uh, after having spoken over dinner for a while, Gunhild leans over to tell me that she finds it impressive how knowledgeable I am about many different things. She recognizes true intellect, I see. Uh, as one plate of food is replaced by the next, my son and heir, Prince Godwine, goes on and on about tax levels. And that was how we salvaged that, sal salvaged that mess he's drunk, apparently. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? 
uh, no, please go on. Had interesting conversation. Or why don't we talk about or talk more about you instead? No, please go on. Uh, what a feast! I will remember the day spent in Prince Godwine's halls for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the traces of, traces of merriment and wine, and once more resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. Hurrah! Hurrah! Hooray! Hurrah! Uh, Duke brought rebirth of the twins. Your twine, that's probably pronounced. He's six years old. He doesn't understand taxation. He's probably perfectly fine with paying a little bit more. He doesn't understand the value of money. <laughs> Build glass monument. I, I want to know what the glass monument does. I've never had this event before. Uh, uh, I would be delighted if your son Anbert could visit my court in Dinbic. Okay, go, go meet go with, go meet the Welsh children of Ethelwan. Oh, they're all just being sent over there. He really doesn't like me, but hopefully he likes my kids well enough. He's intimidated by me. Uh, build a glass monument. Come on. Ah, oh, this is pretty. Pretty music. What? Oh no, Githa. Darn it, Philip. I dreamed of a building all made of glass, where the sun warms like a summer's day, even in the deepest of winters, and plants can grow year round. I see. Around me an abundance of plants flourish, water condensing on the panes above as the sun filters through the glass and onto my upturned face. I spin faster and faster, and I throw my jacket to the ground in glee as I laugh. The sun is in here with us! It was well worth the fortune it cost! I have tamed sunlight! I wonder if that's base game and I've just never seen it because I've never really played with a lunatic ruler, or if uh, that's from a mod. Hooray! Oh, blin now. Plus one tax per month. Plus 25% development growth. Plus 25 popular opinion. Small health boost and plus one monthly prestige. That is really bloody good for just 250 gold. Like, that is really good. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's... Let's, uh... Should we go after the last one? Uh, let's save up for getting the Kingdom of Wales, why don't we? I am passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voice of Svetlana and Nikloth to my ear. Uh, the two courtiers are talking to each other in a secluded spot nearby, frequently glancing around to make sure nobody is listening. While it is hard for me to make out most of their words from such a distance, it's clear that their discussion relates to Duchess Wehrberg. I mean, their husband and wife, just let them have their privacy. Uh... Probably nothing important. No! What the? Th he executed her? I thought I was too old to be surprised by the cruelties of this world, yet I never foresaw having to experience the death of my own daughter. It pains me that she had to spend her last moments on this earth as a prisoner to King Philip, but I hope that she is now able to find peace. I can't help but feel that maybe that's what... He, he executed her! How is How have I not rivaled with, the, with him now? Should I... Should I... <laughs> should I do that? Or should I just... Hmm... What do you think, class? <laughs> no, I'm going to be a good person. I'm... I'm not going to murder him even though he killed my daughter. Like, who does that? Who does that? A dastard, that's who. Way of the axe. 
The endless clash of metal on metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. It is a dance that is as familiar as it is exhausting. I heft my axe, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. Uh, me and my trusty axe will not part, plus two prowess. Or let's end the monotony. Grab me another weapon. A signature weapon is good. I fear not a man who has practiced a thousand kicks one time, but one kick a thousand times. I uh, can ask Pope Alexander for more. Eh, he's getting on in age. It doesn't really matter. I'll use this wealth wisely. And now... Da -da -da. Oh, no, need a little bit more. And, oh, new lifestyle pack. Peacemaker. That's a good one. Okay. Now I am also king of Wales. Hurrah. And let's see. Adopt special succession pack. Partition succession makes us weak and divided. Perhaps the realm's magnates would accept a historical alternative. You may pick a form of traditional elective succession based on your culture. It will apply be applied to any of your top rank titles using partition succession. Think on the matter. Uh, the question of who shall succeed me after my death has plagued me ceaselessly as of late, the threat of splitting the realm ever on my mind. Of course, while it is usually difficult to persuade the realm to accept a new order to the succession, it can be much easier to return to the old. The ancient ways of my people were best. Saxon elective. Yay. The ruler and all direct, de jure, uh, uh, all direct adult de jure vassals of one or two ranks below the title can nominate a title heir from the most powerful vassals among them, the ruler's legitimate children, and other valid claimants. Uh, yes. And, uh... Yes. Uh, who's winning? My nephew, Duke Sabat. Sabat? Sabat. A-E is actually pronounced A, like Anglo-Saxon. I think that's how it is. Is that how it is? Yes, yes. It is spelt with an ash, I believe, which is A-E. But, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What next? Uh, hmm. Can I not vote for Sabert? No, it doesn't seem like I can vote for Sabert. Sabert. And your son, Prince Godwin. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yod, 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 yod. Yod, 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 yod. You, I shall send money to. Yon, yon, yon. I shall send money to you, and hopefully that will let me vassalize you. Because you're only 15%. Not interested. Okay, flush. There we go. Ha-ha! Southern Britain is united! Wonderful! Eh... Uh, hmm... Now what? What now? What next? <sighs> yon, 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 yon... Oh, and the big stretch! Big stretch. <laughs> right. I got a little bit of a... Not a stitch in my side, but like a... A uh, little bit of an ache. That's not good. Hmm. Now, there's two ways that I think we can go at this point. Either we can conquer... We can start conquering the Celts besides the Welsh and create Britannia, or we could start conquering the uh, the Norse 
and make the North Sea Empire. Hmm. Oh well. Mm, all in good time, I suppose. Are we still allied to Denmark? We are not. We are not still allied to Denmark. I kind of want to make the North Sea Empire. Uh, no. Uh, this one. There we go. We shall stake our claim on... Uh, on... Where is currently the richest county? Uh, Sleswig? Uh, or Sjæland? Skin Sjæland seems to be... Hmm... No, but it makes it makes more sense if we were to take uh, the peninsula before the archipelago. So I'm going to stake a claim on Sleswig. Sleswig, that's fun to say. Sleswig, Sleswig. Kind of, I kind of want to learn other languages one day. Maybe I should learn one of the Norse languages. I mean, it takes quite a bit of work to learn a language, but I suppose once you have a little bit of uh, experience, you end up getting the hang of it. Yay, the Pope likes me. Oh, available Dynasty Legacy! Let us, uh, let's see... Mostly fair? Vibrant court? Generational generational belligerence. Soda, 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 soda. Noble veins. I'm not sure. Gen. Hmm. Let's uh, do mostly fair, mostly fair. We're going down a chivalrous path, I think. So it would be good to be known as fair and good at warfare. <laughs> Can make the Tower of London once we research battlements. How close are we to battlements? Uh, 27 years. Alright. <laughs> okay, now all of a sudden I have a plan. I'm going to make the North Sea Empire, which requires, uh, let's see, which requires you to own the North Sea Heartlands, as you can see here outlined. And then, I also want to conquer the Netherlands. And I think that's going to be where we uh, call the borders of the greater English reign, perhaps. And then it'll be, just be more about surviving than about conquering. Alright, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make... The North Sea Empire, a sort of ring around the North Sea. Maybe also conquer the rest of Britain, conquer Scotland. Why not? Ooh, as I expected the stables, my gaze is drawn to a mare, kept away from all the others. She throws her head and stomps her hooves, displaying her powerful hindquarters and well-arched neck. This creature has the best of confirmations and the worst of tempers. I have never seen such a warhorse before, but the stable master insists that she is impossible to train. I am not one to back away from a challenge. Uh, to the implacable King Harold of England, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Liberty War. Okay, Bohemia and Swabia are revolting. I will be there, I guess. Uh, the horse pins her ears back as I approach. Her disregard for me crystal clear. This first meeting is important to earn her trust and respect. I need to decide how to go about it. Uh... Steady hand is required to tame this beast. 
It is a mighty feeling. The powerful horse follows my every whim. Now that I have earned her trust, she on uh, she seems almost fond of me. I will keep her as my personal war horse. And we are now gallant. Hurrah. Admiring the mare that now follows my every command, I muse upon what to call her. A uh, name inspired by history. Mythology. Uh, after the horse of King Arthur, Lamry. How, how often do you hear about King Arthur's horse, Lamry? And immediately we can also start going down the strategy focus line. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Mm, teach him what I know of the land. Yay, Prince Godwin is uh, better at martial. Divide and conquer. Lord Idwal has been actively supporting Prince Edmund and his faction to install Earl Edmund of Dorset on the English throne. However, my wife has a plan to change that. Trust me, the things I could tell Lord Idwal would make him disavow Edmund in an instant. I mean, if you make, I mean, I mean, like, probably better to make me, me look like the better choice, right? I don't want to, I don't want to character assassinate me own son. Who would do that? Not I. Uh, Kaiser Heinrich of the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, oh dear, he, she became, wait, that's not the one who married me, my kid. Who? Who was the one who married my daughter? Was it not Heinrich? Oh, it was this Heinrich. It was his son. Heinrich Jr. Kaiser Heinrich of the Holy Roman Empire has been hovering around my council meetings lately. Knowing his interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel that man is waiting for me to impress him. I could probably engage him in conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for him to simply see me interacting with my men. There is something to be said for at least pretending to know every soldier's face. Uh, let us go uh, meet recruits? Let us discuss methods of communication. Why not? Let's be friends with the Holy Roman Emperor. Just waiting on... My, my Archbishop's name is Mads. Oh, like Mads Mickelson? Alright. He's an actor that I know of. Very famous actor. That's all I really know of him. <laughs> he did a... Uh, Pennywise. In the remake. Reboot. Whichever. My son, Prince M. Edmund, looks Lamry up and down, nodding approvingly. This is a mighty fine mare you have, my king. If you would allow me to take her for a ride, I would be very grateful. Uh, sure, enjoy yourself on me horse. And uh, let's send our marshal to spruce up the place. And let's do... Oh, you're already doing that. Your son, Prince Godwin Haraldson of England, is your player heir now. Yay! Uh, to the implacable King Harold of England, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the third French de war for the, for the Duchy of Bar. Sure! Let's get revenge! Bosh! Revenge may not be generally the knightly thing to do, but neither is murdering your wife, you know? Like he murdered his wife, who is my daughter. Uh, yes, always good. Always good to improve offense and defense. We are going to siege Paris. Uh, yes, G give me claim to County of Slesvig. Maybe I should have sent me men somewhere closer to Paris. Uh, I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. Yay, she is now a fortune builder. Good all.
Uh, Marshall perk available. Engineered for destruction. Siege weapon effectiveness. Yes. Speaking of siege weapons, we have enough money to build more siege weapons, so let's do that so we can siege better. Generally a good idea. Oh dear. Goodbye. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're going to get wiped out. Oh god. Okay. Please stop. Okay, uh, yeah, we're leaving now. Thank you. Goodbye. We did our part. We could not get revenge. Why can I lawfully imprison him? Why? What? Just my stuff. Oh, oh, hang on. We're getting a call. Hang on. Intermission. I'm sorry everyone, we just got alerted of something that we have to go and do in town. We have to go now, and it, it, we need to do it in a hurry, so thank you for coming. I, I'm sorry, I'll, I promise that uh, we'll, <laughs> that I'll uh, be, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. This was very fun, I'll be doing this more, maybe we can do this on in two days instead of uh, Civ. That would be good, I think. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.